Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next uh, Legend of Korra news update video. And yeah, there's a decent bit of news to talk about. Um, just because, um, obviously we're nearly halfway through book three, just uh, with only three weeks of airing, you know, only, actually two, only two, we've only had two weeks where Korra's aired and we're basically halfway through the book. But first thing I want to talk about is the episode titles slash descriptions that we know of. So next Friday, the, the, this Friday, the two episodes we're going to be getting are episode 6, Old Wounds, which is going to be basically a part 2 to episode 5, The Metal Clan. Focus remains on Su Yin, Lin, Toph. This, is going to, this episode's going to involve flashback and just continue basically directly on from last episode. Episode 7 is a new one that no one has seen. So the leaks, uh, as far as the leaked episodes are concerned, they'll end with episode 6. Everyone's going to see episode 7 new for the first time when it airs on Friday. Episode 7 is called Ancient Airbenders. The description we get for this is basically that Tenzin begins to train the new airbenders at the Northern Air Temple. And Bumi uh, and Tenzin seem to come to conflict over how the training is going obviously Boomy's not getting it as much as uh, he thinks he should um, and stuff like that so this seems to be a, a, a bit of a break away from the stuff that's been happening so far because we didn't get tens in the last episode we're not going to see him in episode six so after pretty much a two two uh, episode break Tenzin's going to return in this one I assume it's going to be very Tenzin focused um, maybe just the ending or start touching on what Korra and Co are doing, but I like the idea that we have this episode called Ancient Airbenders and it's going to really address Tenzin training a new generation of airbenders and how that's going to go, especially with the training taking place at the Northern Air Temple. Really excited to see what this place looks like now because, let's not, let's not forget, just because you know the Air Temple have mentioned a bit, the Northern Air Temple is the air temple where um, Teo and the Mechanist um, and that whole group of uh, people lived. And there was a lot of kind of new technology put into it. And in, in many ways, it was the one air, air temple that kind of least has stuff left of the past in it. And I'm very excited to see what it actually looks like nowadays. And then just again, see how Boomy takes airbending training. Um, should be very cool. Episode 8 is called The Terror Within. We get a very simple description for the episode, and it's just uh, Zaheer and his gang trying to kidnap Korra. So, this is, I assume, where the first meeting of Zaheer and Korra is really going to happen. Um, so, that seems like a really exciting episode, dramatic. Um, episode 9 is called The Stakeout. We have no description for that yet, but it seems interesting. Episode uh, 10 is called Long Live the Queen, and episode 11 is called, ooh, what's it called again? The Ultimatum, that's what it's called. And that leaves just episode 12 and 13 for us to get names on, and those are the two finale episodes. This also confirms the airing schedule completely for book three, more or less. You know, we're going to get two episodes this Friday. We're going to get two episodes next Friday. Episode 10 and 11 are going to air on August 1st, and episode 12 and 13 are going to air on August 8th. We don't have the August 8th date, date confirmed yet, but I assume that's going to be the case. Um, I doubt they're going to take a week break just before the finale. But yes, we're going to air end, end book 3 in just a few weeks. But um, yeah, that's, uh, that's how things go. Uh, other thing I want to mention is just that a few updates on Nick.com have revealed to us a few little pieces of information. Uh, a new game that's up on uh, Nick.com is a, a Zuko-themed game. It's Zuko on his dragon, and honestly, it's not that good of a game. I don't think it's anything you need to play. It's just you steer Zuko on his dragon, avoiding like rocks and trees and buildings and stuff like that. And you hit prisoners who are trying to escape with uh, fire, uh, with, the, with the dragon's fire attacks, and it's it controls really badly. Not worth your time playing, I don't think. But the cool thing we got from this is we got we got the name of Zuko's dragon, and the name of Zuko's dragon is Druk, D O R U K, unless it's Druk, but I, I'm not really sure. He hasn't said the name yet. Maybe we'll get it later when we 
potentially get an explanation for where the dragon came from. I'm still holding out hope that it is the Ancient Sun Warrior uh, artifact, the Sunstone, and that it is actually a dragon egg. Uh, that would make sense. Zuko did say it felt alive. Maybe it responded to his touch, and that's the kind of bond connection they have. That would be cool. But, uh, yeah, that's what we got. Then, Nickelodeon put up a video called uh, Meet the uh, Villains, Meet the Enemies, I think it was called. And it was basically just a kind of clip show style thing, no commentary over it, just a few screens saying, you know, the names of our four villains. And if you actually look in the HTML code for the uh, video, you know, in, in Google Chrome, right click, inspect element, and you go down to where the video is in the code, you can see that the video, um, or the theme that the video is around, because it's a sp special page, is called Red Lotus. And... While we don't have confirmation, I think most people are just assuming, uh, taking this to be that this group, Zaheer's gang, is called the Red Lotus. Now, this has more evidence than just this one code thing in the site. If you look at the promotional videos, the um, trailer for Book 3, the official one that we got, what was the logo that we got for it? We got Book 3 change in with a white lotus on a blue background all of a sudden changing to a red lotus on the same blue background. Uh, add to that that Brian posted this mysterious, uh, the same red lotus minus the, just the book three change bid on his Tumblr with no text attached to it. So I'm assuming that this very much is the case that they are counteracting the white lotus because the here in the first episode does say that not only he wants to so capture the Avatar, end the Avatar, but he wants to end the Order of White Lotus as well. Which explains why he's always taking out the Owl members, uh, as well as like freeing his friends and stuff like that. So, um, It's going to present a very interesting episode when we eventually get the motives of this group explained to us. Um, what, um, uh, j just in general, you know, why this group came together why they're after the order, order of the White Lotus, and most importantly, why they want to kidnap the Avatar. It's not like they want to kill her as such. They kind of want to, as a child, they wanted to kidnap her, and now maybe they want to do the same again. It seems very interesting that there is more to this group than just kind of, like, wrecking the place, that they have these kind of almost kind of political kind of agenda, but I think with the here in, in the lead, it's more of a kind of... Um, spiritual type agenda that he feels that he's like destined to do all this in a way because he got airbending all of a sudden but uh yeah that's it and then the final thing i just want to make final thing to mention is that we got the full details of the san diego comic-con panel for cora um main thing to say is that first of all it's going to be a book three panel so um that more or less confirms that they probably won't mention anything of significance about book four but, yeah, it's going to take place uh, at, on the Friday of Comic-Con, which is going to be the 25th of July. And it's going to be from 11.15am until 12.15 uh, in Ballroom 20. So it's a one hour long panel, as expected. And the main gist of what's happening in the panel is that they're airing a new episode. Now, obviously it's taking place on a Friday, that means that's Korra new airing day. And the episodes that are going to air on the 25th are going to be um, episode 8, The Terror Within, and episode 9, The Stakeout. So the episode they're probably going to air here is going to be episode 8, The Terror Within. Now this is the episode where Korra is attempted to be kidnapped by Zaheer, so it seems like it's going to be a, like a pretty exciting episode to air at the panel. And it works better than previous screenings at panels because we're going to get to see it just a few hours later. So when Nickelodeon don't put it up online for us to see... We'll, we just have to wait for them to air it on TV, so it's not that big of a deal this time around, uh, which is cool. But then the rest of the panel is gonna, they're gonna focus on, you know, behind the scenes, you know, making book three, because we haven't had a panel that focuses on book three, so we haven't seen concept art for, uh, <clears throat> we haven't seen concept art for our new villains, or any of the new book three characters like we saw years ago at this stage for book two. So they'll probably go back and from the start of the book uh, explain a bit about how they came to form these new characters and stuff like that. On the panel is Mike, Brian, Janet Varney, David Faustino, 
uh, Mindy Sterling, voice of Lynn, and also Michael Higgins, uh, voice of Varric. So a very interesting panel uh, we have here, and then obviously we have one of the Nick people uh, moderating the panel. Now, I think we've also had to confirm that they will be taking fan questions, which I'm, I'm actually pretty excited for because... I think just based on the way Nick have handled um, how the show is aired and stuff like that, I think, I really hope someone asks Mike and Brian or even the Nick representative there like a question just, you know, what's going on with how the, sh the show is actually airing and Nick's confidence in Quora, do they think it's failing and stuff like that. I think there's some big questions to ask uh, and this is probably one of the only places uh, uh, over the course of the whole year where we can ask these kind of big questions that we're kind of worried about as a fandom for our show obviously so that's going to be exciting but uh, for me I just I'm that excited for the panel mainly because by the time Comic-Con rolls around you know as I said by the end of that Friday of Comic-Con we're going to be four episodes from the end of book three so a book three panel is just gonna be a little bit too late it's gonna be fun and all but to me unless they really talk a little bit about what's coming in book four uh, give us the name of book four for example it's gonna be a little bit disappointing so I feel that what they really need to do at that um, panel is talk, maybe talk about stuff like the core video game talk about the upcoming Korra avatar merchandise line and reveal some of that stuff because for me that's super interesting because the artwork, you know, is coming out in January. That's going to talk about a lot of the concept work that they've done. Uh, so the panel, I think it's just... Um, uh, could end up just being a little bit repetitive and kind of like badly timed. But it um, should be fun for people there. I just don't think there's probably <clears throat> as much excitement in terms of, you know, covering it from here um, when it actually happens. But, uh, you know... There's still other stuff happening at Comic Con. They may potentially announce what the next comic series is after the Rift. I'm not sure if they will do that, but there's potential. Um, but yeah, that's been the video. Uh, final thing I'll say is just um, <clears throat> uh, definitely check out the Avatar Online podcast. Um, we're obviously doing two episodes a week just to deal with the fact that there are two episodes of Korra airing every Friday which means we're doing Core Roundtable Saturday and Sunday of every week. Um, and right now we've, we've, we're have we fully caught up. We have roundtables for episode 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 of uh, Book 3 Change. Links in the description to where you can find the, those podcasts. If you're looking for in-depth discussion on Book 3 Change, check out those podcasts. We They're probably at, at least an hour and a half on every episode we discuss them and... Uh, it's myself, um, I think some hosts are not on all of the episodes, but it's myself, Troy, Greg, Kelly, and Callum on most of the episodes. I think Kelly's not on two of them, Callum's not on one of them, and then myself, Greg, and Troy, I think, are on all of them. So check those podcasts out, and yeah, thanks for watching this video, and bye.